So right now at Sunrise, a lot of travel plans have been put on hold, but Chuck got the opportunity to travel around northern Michigan earlier this fall. Now he's showing us some of the gorgeous destinations, and I know that you can't wait to share what you found, Chuck. Oh, I know you want to go, too. Hey, we have been so fortunate that we were able to take this trip and bring back these wonderful stories for you. Now, our first stop was Mackinac Island, home to one of the country's few remaining seasonal resorts. And let me tell you, the Grand Hotel is not just a place to stay. It's an experience that takes you back somewhere in time. Mackinac Island's Grand Hotel undeniably lives up to its name. I see these people pull up on the horse taxis and it's the same reaction from everybody. They look up and just go, wow. That's my favorite thing is the oh wow when they see the hotel, when they see the interior of the hotel. Wow. If you could see my face. <laughs> if. If you could see my face, my jaw would be dropping. Sure, sure. The whole idea is that a room is not a room. What we sell here is a summer experience. So the idea is to gift wrap it. And a room is not a room, it is a package to be unwrapped. There are 397 of these eclectic packages. Every single room is different. A lot of Venetian art glass in here. Bright, fun, splashy colors. All contained in a dizzying labyrinth of a 133-year-old hotel on a remote island. How did this ever work? It's just a rare thing that it survived and thrived and evolved. And, and, and the history here is not names and dates and chronological orders and architectural features. It's the stories of the people that believed in this place, both the owners of the hotel, the employees, and most importantly, the guests. This is the signature piece of this National Historic Landmark, a 660-foot front porch, the largest of its kind in the world. 100 rocking chairs, 260 geranium boxes, and a breathtaking view of the Straits of Mackinac. For many guests, this is heaven. A harpist in the hotel parlor, a comfortable chair, and continuing a 100-year tradition. Afternoon tea. I could be at a hotel and, and have an afternoon snack, a nice bowl of ice cream sitting outside, and I would forget it probably three weeks later but this is something you just do not forget. Afternoon tea for us has been the opportunity for people to come in and be a part of this whole environment. So it's, 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 been, uh, it's been fantastic. At the Grand Hotel, one dresses for dinner and why not? With music and a world-class menu, dinner is the high point of your stay. It just touches so many people's lives to come here. And once you come here, you kind of get it. You kind of yeah. drink the Kool-Aid. If I can keep them under the roof for a couple days, they'll unplug and unwire and say, okay, where do you get one of these horse rides? Where do I get a bicycle? I always think, ha ha, we got you. <laughs> this is great. Thank My you. My pleasure. Blessings. Absolutely. Bon appetit. Well, the Grand Hotel is open from May through October, so that gives you plenty of time if you want to plan a getaway. And this upcoming season will bring a major upgrade for guests. The swimming pool made famous by the famous Esther Williams in the 1947 film This Time for Keeps is undergoing much needed renovations. And speaking of movies, everybody remembers the film Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour that was shot there. They have a uh, weekend honoring Somewhere in Time where people dress in costume and, mm. and go and enjoy it. That movie has done more for the Grand Hotel and it's a 30 year old movie, 40 year old movie now than just about anything else. And I asked him, I said, so why do they close in October mm -hmm. if just not enough tourists? And you said, 120 <laughs> inches of snow, you <laughs> cannot get there, ladies and gentlemen, plus the Straits of Mackinac freeze. But you can make reservations now and I would suggest make reservations right. now. I yeah. feel like that they're, people are clicking on right now. Well, and you <laughs> drove up there, what's the drive? Eight hours, 15 minutes from my house unless you go a little faster. Now, we would like to say a special thanks to everyone on Mackinac Island who helped us with these stories. It was such an honor to meet and work with all of you.